This project is based on the infamous Flowers and Hands. Picasso becomes very easy, fun, and ever so pretty with his Flowers and Hands art. Picasso is such a fun artist, his work is so varied. He uses so many different materials, styles, and techniques. I enjoy pointing out that he is one of the most famous artists that have ever produced work that is not lifelike, yet is still highly valued. Good art, or good artwork, is not necessarily artwork that is photorealistic. It's not just a copy of its subject. This particular piece of art goes by several names. Bouquet of Peace, Hands with Flowers, Hands with Bouquet, and Flowers and Hands. All titles refer to this bright and simple work. It is originally made as watercolors. Then Picasso later produced it with a lithograph. And then with crayons. Yes, crayons. This work was done in 1958 for a peace demonstration in Sweden. Today, it serves as an inspiration for our fun. Today, you are going to use crayons to create your own Picasso-inspired artwork. What do you see in his work? Why did the artist change colors? What does this artwork make you feel? Happy, sad, special? We are going to try some different crayon techniques. We're going to experiment with crayon. So use the tip of your crayon and press light and try medium and then press hard. Now please don't break the crayon. If you break the crayon, broken crayons still work. So here's light, here's medium, and here's dark. So practice using your crayon with different pressures, light, medium, and hard. Now try using the side of your crayon. This works great for naked crayons without the paper. Now we're going to try blending two crayons together. Light, medium, and dark. Light, medium, and dark. I'll make this a naked crayon by peeling off the paper. Paper goes in the trash when you're all done. Now we're gonna use the side of our crayon. So he's gonna lay down like he's taking a nap. You're gonna use the side of your crayon. This is great for crayon rubbings, meaning you're putting something under the paper and you're rubbing your crayon and the texture will show through. Texture is the way something feels or looks like it feels. So you can see there's different types of techniques or different ways to hold the crayon to get different outcomes. Okay, now keeping in mind Picasso and the techniques we just learned, think about the techniques you have learned with the crayon. Make a drawing showing one of the five senses, taste, touch, sight, sound, or smell. Remember, sign your name. You will fill out this portion when you're finished with your drawing. Your drawing is done on this back page. So just like Picasso, I am going to draw some flowers because flowers are very pretty to look at and I love the smell of flowers. So let's draw some flowers.
If you finish early, what I would like you to do is come back to the second page, make sure you have checked your techniques, use different techniques with your picture, make sure your drawing shows one of the tastes, touches, sights, sounds, or smells, and did you sign your name? No name, no fame. Then I want you to do a reflection or an artist statement. How do these senses help people learn about the art world? Do you have a favorite taste, sights, sounds, smells, texture? Draw them in the box. Senses help me make a connection to the flower picture because I can just imagine how they smell. I love things that have ooey gooey chocolate and caramel I love things that are furry. I like things that me soft like a pillow. I don't think like things that are prickly, like a cactus.